What's up guys, it's Awesome Card Head here bringing you another Let's Play on the Minecraft Recreation Vanilla Server. So, here's the deal. I recorded about an hour of footage on this server um, earlier, but the problem is, is that I lost it. I honestly don't, uh, like I deleted it on accident in the middle of actually making the video. So the video files were lost by the time that it tried to finish the completion of the video. So they were lost. So that really sucks, but sadly it happened. Things like that do indeed happen. So I'll show you the changes that happened. Well, what I can remember since I was video right after this. Uh, it was majorly just a big exploring uh, video. I think one thing that changed is... Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Gonna make me kill you. Come here. Come here. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I'm back. I'm sorry about this. Alright. Let, let's see if we can kill this guy. Got him. Let's eat. Um, one thing I, I think was a change since last time, I have a cow farm now. I may have five cows, so I can fix that later. Uh, as soon as I get some wheat, but I can do that later. Uh, it's on the other side of, from my base. So I just don't remember what changed. Anyway, um, today what we're going to be mining for is some redstone for a project that I'll talk about later that I already did. But we're going to have to re-talk about it, of course, because I lost everything. So we need a whole lot of redstone. So I went ahead and made some torches. And it's time that we go now. I'm also going to pick up stuff like iron and coal just because it can never hurt to have some more. Now we have enough iron to where we can actually make a new pick after we need so. Later on. Hopefully it's a big cave that connects to a lot of redstone and other stuff like that. Luckily this is nighttime. So there's a, going to be some mobs on the surface, which will eliminate the tickets for how many mobs can spawn below the surface, which is good food news for us. Let's keep on going. Oh, this is a lot of coal. Good. Can't hurt. I think I have 19, or I, I have 18 uh, coal blocks. So yeah, that's how much coal I have at the moment. That's all of it too, so. Ooh, there's a lot of... A lot of iron. I can never reach it all. That's what... Uh, I don't, I've never talked about this, but... I personally think that a really good enchantment that I think Mojang could work on... Is Reach. I think that... Oh, we have one of these! That's interesting. Alright, we're gonna have to explore that since I light up the rest of this place. And take out this. Sorry guys, my phone just went off. Oop, didn't even see this. I wouldn't mind finding one more diamond to replace this pick. But if I don't, I'll be fine. I've never explored this cave before, as you can tell by the lack of torches. Uh, I guess that was kind of self-explanatory. Don't know why I just said that. Oop. Let's keep on going down. Ooh, this is elaborate. Ooh, I see an emerald down there. I see a torch, though, so it looks like I'm reaching a part that I have explored before. I'm do the same thing. Ooh, I have to my friend. Sorry, I really had to take this. Alright, sorry about that guys, I'm I'm spacing right now, and I really want to focus on this, but... I, I have a lot of things going on right now, I'm sorry guys, uh, but my focus right now is this, I'm recording, so this is my primary focus. Ooh, there's a lot of cool, I don't think I'm going to get all this, it's too much, ooh, that's a lot of iron behind me too. 
I do want to explore the mine shaft though because mine shafts can hold on to diamonds. Looks like that three coal will elude me. Four coal, my bad. Ooh, emerald. But this iron will will not. So how much iron do I have now? Eighteen. Whoa, well, lava down there. That that means high chance of diamonds, but for right now let's just keep on pushing through this. Oop, did I light up this part of this before? Ooh, oh yes I did, but there's some iron over there, but I see this, which is more important to me. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no 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 no! Lava 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 lava! Alright, alright, hide, hide, hide. I'm probably gonna die. Right now, guys. Alright. Hopefully none of that fell into the lava. Alright, let's try to go back. We'll trace our steps. Should be able to find it under five minutes, that's for sure. I just don't know if I will have enough food to get to it in time. And I'm pretty sure that the chunk of that will constantly be loaded because I'm pretty sure we didn't go that direction underneath. We went towards me or towards my home, so there's no way that the timer that there'll be unloaded chunks so the timer won't go. So we really just have to hustle. Did I go I went down. Hmm, missed a piece of coal. Stupid creepers. Excuse I couldn't have worse luck with creepers. It's literally launched me into a lava pit. Hopefully none of my stuff got destroyed. Like none of my Ooh, that is a gold plated Skeleton. Ooh, that's a regular skeleton. This is why you light up areas. You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing on me. Um, uh, uh. Why are these things so hard now? Okay. Okay, I see my food. I see a skeleton. Alright, luckily I was nowhere near any sort of... I still have an ender pearl on me. I don't need that lever. Did I pick up that emerald though? Yes. So let's rearrange this right now. I don't need this. Oh, I need that. I need this. I need this. This. Ooh, no coal. Where's my coal at? There it is. I knew I had darn near stacked. Uh, that I want. I have food. I have everything I need except for my bow, which is right there. Never mind. I do have that. I want to go back up where we were. I want to kill this guy first because no revenge and stuff. Come here. Oh, crap. I love this sword all to death. I only have smite one on it. I think on one of my picks I have a really good enchant. Maybe not. Oh yeah, on my iron shovel. That was like a level like 12 enchant, so I think level 12 is when it starts getting really epic. I've been here before. That is not registering. There we go. That's still not registering. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, I, I want to go back to where we were. Ooh. this because I do want to explore downwards where was I all right so if I go up here I was over here ooh that's what I'm missing I'm missing a huge freaking stack of torches we're back at the ravine that's kind of dead end even though I know that we can like explore the ravine right now I don't want to and now I'm just focusing on lining up an entire cave. That way, eventually, I will work on a mob spawner. Uh, so that we can get things that mobs drop. So, lighting up an area, all it does is really... It's a skeleton and zombie. All it does really improve the efficiency of mob spawners in vanilla. 
Alright, this just takes you down. This is not what I was actually looking for. Alright, sorry, I was just looking at something. Um, I'm pretty sure this goes down into previously explored territory. There's a torch that I didn't place in this episode, so yeah. I really got I got this melon before I left. Alright, so let's go back and find that. Here we go. So it looks like all directions are pretty untouched by me or anybody. Ooh! Alright, so this doesn't continue on anything, but it might lead to a new area that I haven't seen yet. Obviously haven't been in this direction. Because that was locked up. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of coal. Once you get more than two stacks of coal on a mining trip, it becomes cost efficient to make a crafting bench. Or more than three stacks. It becomes cost efficient to make a crafting bench. And make it all into uh, blocks of coal. That's one reason I'm glad that they made the box. Like, yeah, it makes it eat so you can put more in a furnace. But I honestly just like it so that you don't want to come back. Because your inventory is full of freaking coal and you don't have to throw away coal because your inventory. So that's the end of that. Let's go back and mine everything that we passed up. A little bit of iron over here. Pretty good amount of iron over here. Is this eight? Eight pieces of iron right there. Any coal? Any coal? No. Any coal over here? That's negative. I know we passed some coal. I guess we didn't. Huh. Down here, get some iron. I really need redstone though. I just, that's the whole reason we're doing this and I'm getting everything other than redstone. Let's take out one shovel. Ooh, here's some coal. You know, once again, that's not what I'm here for. Still can't hurt. I'm really looking for a chest with a couple of diamonds in it. That's what I'm praying for. Let's see how much coal we have. We're coming up on the limit of two stacks. Ooh, this is nice. This is. Ooh, that's a lot of coal. So is this. But we won't have to worry about the whole torches situation. Going. I really wish I had a faster pick, guys. I'm sorry about this. I just haven't had... Well, I don't have the bookshelves for a level 30 enchant, and I don't really have the time to get up to level 30. I will have enough to enchant an entirely new pick, and possibly some other things, depending on... If, if I get diamonds, I'll definitely enchant it uh, with a level 12, or I'll go kill some cows so I can get a higher level enchant.
think I hear a spider. If I get a spider from going, I will be the happiest person alive. That gives you so much XP pretty easily too if you make it right. How many errors do I have? I have 15. I had 21 before I started this, so I am losing some, but oh well. Ooh, another one. Coal and a bit of iron. Ooh, coming up on two on three stacks. So I'm gonna want to start condensing those. It is de definitely going to equal. Stacks right here. So I'm going to move those all into the little things that we know as blocks. I'm going to get a third of a stack, which is pretty much what I have right now. Really, like I'm pretty sure that that's exactly what I have uh, at my base. So I'm pretty much doubling my coal. So let's go ahead and craft that. Out of three. Oh, I never put my helmet on. My armor's almost dead either way. Alright. So I'm gonna have one piece of coal left over. 21 pieces of coal. I'm gonna leave that there. I don't really need to pick it up. I will need to come back that way if I hit a dead end over here. Ooh, yes, two diamonds. Just what I wanted. Some more bread, some more melons. Melon seeds, I should say. Alright, so that's a circle. So I don't really need to... No, it's not. It's a completely different area. Ooh, that's like labyrinthy type brain messing with you. I'm just very happy about the diamonds. I still need redstone though. Ooh, tons of iron. Tons and tons of iron. Stack of it. Almost. Didn't go down this way. Nothing down that way. Still hoping to find a great chest. I think this is the end of this direction, but I can pop up here. Alright, that's the end of that. Finding my way out of here is not going to be fun. Looks like there's a way out of there, natural light. What level am I at? Oh yeah, that's a way out. No wonder I'm not finding any redstone. Not level 44. Oh, there's a whole new part. That's a spider. I can hate these things. Come at me. Bro. Okay, that was simple. I don't know how that was so easy, but it was. We'll get that iron and all this coal as soon as I light some of this place up. Solve it so now we can go through. Make collect. Pick up a rail, of course. Probably should be picking up some of the rails. Ooh, never dig down. This is tons of coal. Holy crap. Yeah, I have enough for a level 12 enchantment on that pick. So hopefully I get him breaking. What can I get? I can get up to him breaking too. So I'll be. Great. I'll be so satisfied with that. Alright, come on. Let's keep on going. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. I'm not going to lie. This is tons of it.
Hello. You can't get me. Touch me gunpowder, I'll have to go get that. Can't pass up on easy gunpowder. You just can't do it. It's against my religion. Oh god. Got some coal down here, got some iron down here. Got entirely a couple new pathways. That's not that new. Tell about the torch. That's new though. This I like seeing all this. Do I have a stack of iron? Yes, yes, I do. Probably can start converting. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pick any more of this stuff up. So I'm going. Ooh, more iron. Ooh, tons of it. So much iron. Even more. I'm not gonna start complaining. I'm coming back an extremely rich man, and with all the coal I could ever need to smelt all of it. And a diamond pick, or well, uh, almost enough diamond, but I do have two spares, so basically enough diamond to smelt all of it along with it. Wait, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. I'm almost done with this pick. Can I not pick up anymore? Yep. Can not pick up anymore. Time to condense it. Alright, what can I drop? Drop these eight melons. Can drop. Rotten flesh. That. That. I have plenty of that. I have plenty of this. All right, that cleans up enough space. I mean, they keep on going. Uh, let's. Actually. Perfect. Perfect. You were kidding me. Come on. Down this direction. Nope, nope. Alright. See what's here. Look at this. I have plenty of room for tracks. Uh, that coal I'm gonna skip for now. I think I've been here, but honestly, yeah, I don't remember. Let's see what's up here. But yeah, I don't remember if this is the place that I came in at. It might be. Actually, the more that I go through it, the more I think it is. Because the thing that I'm not seeing is iron. Yeah, I think this is it. Alright. Let's go back up. See if I see anything that I missed so I can just get rid of the rest of this iron pick. I see some coal there, but it's not worth it. I mean... There we go. Get my brand new iron pick. Oh! Did I not light that up? Or did I not come in from here? Come at me, bro. He got nothing on me. Got him. What's up here? And why didn't I put torches up here? I did over there. Oh, how does this go? Like, we're above ground right now. This is like a cave inside a mountain. 
Hmm, that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to check that out later. I threw away those two sticks, so I can't do anything with that. I think that's a way out. I do remember correctly. Yes. Let me right out here. All right, guys. So let's go over what I got as soon as we get inside. I think we can get rid of that. But let's. Ooh. Uh. Let's go ahead and put in a stack right here. I need one for that. We may have 20 left. 20 is equal to 3 pieces of coal. Really, almost 2, but... It's gonna take 3. Kinda sucks, but it's a sad fact of life. Gonna need 3 of these diamonds. I'm gonna need 2 of these planks. And we're gonna have to do something like this. Now let's go enchant this bad boy. Now, if this wasn't in the last video, which I really hope it was, I made an enchantment room. I'm pretty sure this was in one of the videos before the ones that got deleted. Yeah, made an enchantment room, looking pretty nice. So far, I have these amount of books. Let's see what the highest enchant is. 12, 14. I add one more, I can get a 16. So before we do that, Hello. You can't touch me. Should I be leveling over those? Do I have any feathers? No, I'm gonna have to make a chicken farm soon. I remember that's what I did in my last episode. I was going to uh start a chicken farm, but I realized sadly that there were like no chickens in my area. I'm gonna have to go like out of the extreme hill biome, like way past that direction to make a chicken biome. Sadly. Right, so this is enough to feed the entire thing and make them all fall in love. So I'm happy about that. Uh, and then I'm going to kill a select few. I don't know how many yet. But they shall die. And then I hope you guys saw my last episode of asking how, what type of farm I should make. Um, I still need you guys' opinions. I haven't gotten any opinions yet. Please help me out, guys. I need it. Sheep. Uh, don't want to hurt you that much. You just don't want me coming into my thing. That's awesome. You. 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 Sorry about it. No leather. I have two babies. Alright, I got some other than that, dude. Only one, though. I need three. That's good enough. Alright, sorry guys. Your mothers and fathers are all dead. Alright. Yeah, I'm a sheep murderer. You can get over it. I don't really care. I mean, YOLO, right? Let's run through here. This is going to be dangerous. It's always a dangerous path. The skeletons ain't got nothing on me. Alright. Now that we're here, uh, even though we don't need to right now, because I know that I have enough, I'm just going to go ahead and farm all this. Not even pick it all up because I mean YOLO, right? I mean you can't worry about every single one your entire life. Like that's how people's lives get ruined. Let's go say hi to Lassie. Lassie's leash broke. All right, all right, Lassie, stay, stay. That means don't move. Good, Lassie. Don't move, Lassie. Don't move. Don't move. Don't fucking move, you stupid sheep. I will, I will cut you. Good, Lassie. Gosh, I was talking about how 
the yellow things were eyesores in my last video. I cut them down. Let's see how this fares as an eyesore. I don't think it's that bad, you know, huge cobblestone thing. Uh, but until I learn how to make leads, that's the best I can do. Alright, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to find all the leather I could. I can put a saddle in here. Ooh, there's my pages. No leather. No leather. No leather. No leather. Sadly, no leather. For books. Put the books across like that. Wood across like that. Put an extra one right there. Got myself another bookshelf. Do I have a book right there? That's enchanted, so it doesn't count. Uh... I have some raw beef now. Kinda on the plus side, you know. I don't really know what to do with bread, so I'm just gonna stick it right there. Um, what else? Oh, I do have iron horse armor. I completely forgot about that. Put these up. Put these up. Put these up for right now. These, these, these. Oh, not those. Put these up and this up. And these up. Now this should be done. That's almost done. How's the iron doing? I mean, how's the coal process? Alright, so here's another thing that I changed. Um, I think I the only time I mentioned it was last uh, thing, which is why I'm sorry. Because I don't even know. But down here, I have... Boom. Automated watermelon farm. Uh, let me show you... Alright, boom. That's what it does. It automates getting watermelon for me. I have pistons on the side. I wanted to make it to where I had uh, this wood going all the way across. And that's what knocked it. But I don't have uh, slime balls yet, so I can't do that. As soon as I get slime balls, I will. In fact, let me show you what's going on behind the scenes right now. Uh, it's basically all that's at on both sides. We just have... Uh, red stone underneath the pressure plate goes all the way out uh, it connects to all these repeaters which connect to the uh, locks which power the blocks which in turn will transfer that energy over to here and yeah that's how that works and it's the same on the other side so as soon as you step on it it gets a pressure I mean it gets a uh, signal which goes all throughout which is all the pistons and yeah that's how I get my watermelon and my food source so I no longer need that suicide hole We'll find out something to do with that later. Uh, but for right now, we have a book bookshelf. We have tons of iron now. I'm happy. Uh, let's go see what this bookshelf can do for me. I'm pretty sure we'll raise it up to maybe 18, but I'm thinking only 16. Alright, let's start this side and we get 15 16 I think 16 is a high so as soon as I get another 16 I'll slow it down now oh oh okay got it got it got it don't move don't move efficiency 2 are you, like, okay, give me a second, guys, let me, before I start ripping people's heads apart, let me go look over here, does that not work, they're both diamond pickaxes, uh, there, now that one needs fixing. It still leaves it with efficiency too. But we'll fix it so we can... I mean, fix it barely, but... Oh well, we'll fix it. So, now... Uh, one project that I want to do, guys, is not this because obviously I can't do it really anything more except work on getting 
slimes, but I don't want to do a slime farm right now because those don't really have anything intuitive with them. It's just mining out a big hole. Ooh, I want to show up this. Uh, let me... Alright guys, this is my idea for a perfect a way to light up everything. I don't know if you noticed that right there. I worked on this, I think the episode they got lost, I believe. So this is what's up. I want to replace all this glowstone with redstone lamps. As you can see right now, it's on. Ooh, jump. Haha. Uh -huh. Aww. Yeah. This is a chance if it's my one. Anyway, uh, okay, what's going on? So I have a daylight sensor. I want to make these turn on only on the daytime, and I don't know if you saw, but at nighttime it was off. I mean, you can rewind the video, or pro it'll probably be nighttime by the time that I'm done explaining all this. So, yeah, you can just base it off of that. But anyway, uh, expert. So, this is a setup that I uh, propose on using on. Almost every, I'm thinking every three, like have one set up right here, have it branch off to these three, and then so on and so forth every three. Because uh, if I make it one thing uh, to connect everything, then that will use a whole lot more redstone. Because this doesn't even take redstone to make. That's what's so weird about it. It actually only takes... Uh, some nether cords which I have. Ah, uh, some nether cords which I have a stack of that I can easily get more of, and some glass which I live right next to a huge freaking water bomb, and there's desert vines everywhere, and some wood planks which is a renewable resource. So this is set anyway. Um, daylight sensors emit a redstone signal depending on how much sun they can get. That is the easiest way to put it, and that's the most accurate way to put it. Uh, when the sun's just about to finally go down, it only emits one. When the sun goes down, it emits zero. So the uh, sun comes up, it's zero, then it comes up a little bit, one, the so on and so forth. At noon, it, can, it emits a full 16 or 15, uh, one of those. So what I have set up is that it will take roughly two game hours which is I don't know like a minute so a minute before the sun completely goes down uh this will kick on wait yes a minute before the sun actually goes down the light will kick off a minute after the sun comes up the light will kick off so you still have some time just like with street lamps you know they don't turn off as soon as the light comes on but anyway so this is what happens the redstone signal will travel down this. It will hit a repeater, which is attached to a redstone torch. Uh, when it's daytime, it will send a pulse, so it will flip that off, which will in turn flip the light off. Basically, this is probably the easiest setup ever. Uh, if you don't understand this, then uh, please watch some redstone tutorials or ask me because I can explain this. This is pro like this is the basics of how redstone works. Um, there's probably a much easier way to even do this. Uh, this is just the first one that came to my head that I didn't really test. Uh, but it works, and that's all I really care about. So yeah, that's how I'm going to have those turn on. Uh, I like the idea of having lights that turn on and off. I was going to do it up in the sky, like in trees, or on top of the bushes, but I don't know. Under the bushes, that sense of uh, the fact that it's concealed, I like that. Oh, hello there. Sai, you can get me. You can't come around this tree. What you want? Base. Alright, anyway. Just finish sealing this black up. I think I can seal it all up, right? Yeah. Uh, ooh. No one will ever know. Anyway, um, there are multiple ways you can mess up while doing this if you're not a redstone genius, uh, or 
you know, you're just not that good. I even messed up a couple times while making this, even this simple thing. Uh, I had it set up to where, uh, let me go get some redstone torches real fast. Some redstone and some redstone torches. Uh, redstone, I have two sticks on these. That'll be fine. I'm not looking for that right now. That... That, 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 that. Alright, so this is a setup I accidentally put into place. And I didn't realize why it was only working for a certain amount of time, then all of a sudden breaking. I was like, what is going on? Like, why won't this just work for a change? And this is what I had set up. I had it set up to where, say this was in the ground. So, we had... Like this. Right, we had that. Alright, this is what we had. We had the, uh, I had the, uh, that thing directly above this, so right there. And it was at the same level. And so that way it would turn this on, and then if you give this a pulse, through a lever, which I don't have, and I don't even have a stick for it, don't even have enough wood for it, um, this sucks, I do have another torch though, lol, alright, so if you give this line a pulse, it will turn it off, even if it's just, just that one block, if you give the block above it a pulse, Uh, it will travel down. Oop, like that. Still not like that. Hmm. Uh, the daylight saving uh, would give it a pulse. In fact, it's about to start emitting a pulse. It's about to be daytime. I think I'm on the server. Yeah. Oh crap! I didn't mean to break that. It's fine. So let's go ahead and just show you what was happening, and then that's gonna be the end of the video. See, even that gives it a pulse. Uh, this is the first light, so that would turn it off, so that's why I had it set up like this. But here is the issue that I was coming up on, and that you guys will too, if you have it set up this way. So this is what happened, so there was a block above it, and then to cover it up, you know, you want a block right next to it. Well the thing is, is that the way redstone mechanics work, is that, uh, Redstone gives, will, will power a block. So, if this torch powers this block, then anything above it, or anything ooh, ooh, to the left of it will get powered. Ooh, I'm getting some serious lag, guys. Sorry about that. Give me one second. That was happening in my last Minecraft video. Ooh. Alright, this was happening in uh, the lost footage, but for some reason, my Java just like spazzes out every once in a while. It's nothing to do with the server, but I the problem is that I have some really nice frame rates. It just, all of a sudden, just not wanting to work. Um, so I will actually uh, meet you guys back in a creative world to finish out this episode because really uh, I'm not going to do anything else on the server. I just want to explain more of Redstone. Maybe make it a little bit extra long episode. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Well, I will see you guys in a creative world. Alright guys, we are in my creative world with uh, white chocolate. Uh, so now let me explain what I was trying to explain. Um, I'm going to need some torches. Uh, game mode 1. Uh, torch, and let's use some chiseled sandstone because that's what cool kids use. So anyway, what I was saying is that redstone powers blocks above it. Um, it if you place it like so, where it's not attached to this block, it will not solely give power to this block. But if you power the block above it, just like what was happening with the pistons, it gives the effect of powering the redstone next to it. 
And if you guys know all this, then feel free to uh, end the video here. I just want to uh, show off some redstone stuff that will help out other people that aren't so good at it. Oh, by the way, we're in, you know, the natural, uh, my new creative world that I'm going to be using for the rest of uh, my Let's Plays. Blah, 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 you know, this is still here. Anyway, um, so anyway, that's something that you have to watch out. So even, so if you place it on here, that still doesn't have them, but what you can do is place a block above it. Now, I'm going to do this really fast, so you have to watch. Watch this block as soon as I put a block above it. Now, if you guys saw that, it was basically a really fast clock. Um, because this is what happens. It's a really, really unnoticeable cycle. So I'm going to break this down into a couple different parts. Um, so we have this part, put the block on top, we have this part, I'm just going to let that burn out, uh, we have this part, the block right here, Ooh redstone right here and that's basically it all right so this is what happens basically what will happen is the redstone will power yeah all right so the redstone will power this block which will then power this block and uh which will then power the redstone on this block so what that does is it has the same effect of powering redstone on this block. It will turn off this torch. Now what happens is whenever you power this block, this will give power to this, which will turn that on, which will turn that off, which because of that will turn that off, turning that off, turning that back on, turning that on, turning that on, turning that off. It's a big cycle that won't really ever stop. So what they did to fix that, uh, fix clocks being used in that way, is this, is they made torches burn out. So if it's a torch here, it'll burn out. So say we, you wanted to cover something up, like, like this, and you have the daylight timer above this, and then you have powder covered and then you have a redstone lamp, or really anything, but I'm just going to use redstone lamps because that's what I was using. Now, the thing about uh, redstone lamps or anything really redstone involved, uh, the pulses happen so fast that you never see it really go off. You see it come on, and then you see it go off. So I wasn't understanding why it was happening, and that's where I got my issues from. I never understood that it was creating that pulse. Now, if you eliminate it, then this is another thing. If you eliminate that, and then you just give this power, that's all that you see. You don't see it giving the pulse. It's only when you actually cover it that that happens. So I was so confused. It took me so long. And I just want to share that experience with you. So if you guys have the same issue, you guys can just pick up on it back. Oh, wait. I know what's happening. I should probably just... Find a new way to cover it up. Like what I did is I made it a little bit lengthier. Um, have it set up so the redstone comes down. Goes into a repeater. Goes into the block. Then goes into the torch. Uh, that way, uh, no matter what the signal strength is right here, it doesn't need to be that long to where it reaches that. It also makes sure that none of the other redstone around it, which I do plan on having more redstone in my base, interferes with it. And it also makes sure that uh, it stays on and nothing burns out. Because now, you can completely... Now you can completely surround it. Give me one second, guys. Alright, uh, I'm sorry about that, guys, but now you can completely uh, cover it, uh, set for the 
uh, source, which should cover it either way for daylight saving. You can cover it, and you'll never have to worry about it, because no matter what, as soon as this gives a pulse, oop, that's not a suspicion, pulse, as soon as this gets a pulse, please, pulse. This is difficult. I don't know why I tried to make it so complicated. All you have to do is put one. So as soon as I get a pulse. Oh, I messed up. Sorry, one more thing that I should probably tell you about. As soon as it gets a pulse, that will shut up. Um, I don't know if you saw it on my thing, but what I had to do was take a slab, and since there's no really dirt slab, I'm probably going to replace it with one of these type of slabs. Anyway, uh, I had to take a slab and place it. Well, I'm getting some major lag, guys. Give me one second. All right, guys, I'm back. It's probably going to start lagging soon, so I'm going to hurry up. Uh, I had to place a half slab because redstone cannot go under full blocks. So that's what I did. I just placed a half slab so it just could still go down. And you can blend it in nice. I'm going to blend it in better later. But anyway, that's my workaround. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Um, Be sure to check out my new... Uh, my new series... Uh, Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, it's going uh, interestingly lately. Um, it's actually going pretty bad. Uh, I messed up a lot, but it is a very fun game. I hope it's fun to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys will check that out. Please remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe so I can keep on giving you these great videos. And I will see you guys next time.